dramatic evidence today at the Richard Taylor murder trial. The jury was shown a police video where the accused suggested the killings may have been carried out by his stepfather, who was one of the victims. Al Sweeney has the latest. In an extended interview with police shown in court, Richard Taylor said again and again he didn't do it. You can say I did, I did, I did. You will not prove it because it did not happen. The interview was done in January 2019, about six months after Taylor's mother, Carla Rutherford, and her husband, Al, died when a fire destroyed their house in Dundas. Taylor is charged with their murders. Crown prosecutors argue that he set the fire and committed the murders because he needed money. Taylor denies that and pointed the police to Al Rutherford himself. There is a doubt because I didn't do it, and I don't think you looked into other avenues either that much so what other avenue should I look into well I've talked to two police officers who when I say what we knew say it looks like Al did it Carla Rutherford died in the fire but her husband Al was able to get out of the house and run for help although he died a short time later but Rutherford told neighbors don't call rich he's the one that did this you're saying Al killed your mom and then I'm saying accidentally killed himself and then blames you. That's what you're saying? I'm saying it's a possibility. Taylor suggested Al Rutherford could have benefited financially from Carla's death. In cross-examination, the defense also questioned police officer Troy Ashbaugh about the focus on Al Rutherford's statement that Rich was the one that did this. The defense said some witnesses heard Rutherford say Rick was the one who did this and said there is a Rick in the Taylor Rutherford family. The police officer said he looked at the totality of evidence and concluded that it was rich that Rutherford was saying. Al Sweeney, CHCH News.